Coach Dubuque. Hey man, how's it going? Welcome back to Jersey. You're 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 my. This is my area. This is it. You're on my turf. How many times did you win the New Jersey State Championship? Twice. Twice. Two-time NCAA champ. Yes. I think that says a lot about your state. Your state's pretty good. Yes. Well, yep. You didn't have to even leave. When I say welcome to Jersey, it should be welcome Zub to Jersey, right? I know. Yeah. I like that. That's it. I'm oh. back in New Jersey now. Where's your hometown from here? Uh, from here, I'm only about maybe 15 minutes from here. Your hometown? Yeah. What high school did you go to? Uh, Glen Ridge High School. Small, small uh, high school in Essex County. So, uh, yeah, I just jump right on the parkway. Exit 148 on the parkway, so it's only about 20 exits from there. It's not from bad. here. That's not bad, right? No, it's not bad at all. All right, so Princeton's here. You're in Jersey. You're about an hour and 10 minutes from, uh, from Princeton. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys looking for in a recruit in Bergen Catholic's wrestling room right now? Well, this is uh, coming to events like this. This is great. This shows me that a kid is dedicated. He wants to, he wants to show us what he's got um he could be anywhere else on a saturday or a sunday in the middle of the fall uh but he chose to be here so i think that really says a lot about the the kids that are here uh which is what i like um they want to be they want to be found um and we want kids who want what princeton has uh and what we got is we got number one academics uh, we put together, we're going to release it probably this week, but I'm going to go ahead and say it's one of the hardest schedules in the country. Um, we're wrestling Ohio State, um, we're wrestling Virginia Tech, we're wrestling Rutgers, we're wrestling Cornell, we're wrestling Michigan. I mean, we're trying to be the best. So uh, coming to you know an event like this, I love it because not only do we get to showcase Princeton and kind of talk about what Princeton has, but I could also see what kids have. Uh, and kids who maybe were flying a little under the radar, I get to watch them. I get to see how they train. I get to see how they wrestle live. I get to see how they pay attention. It's just the little things that could turn us on or off of a kid. You know, like, Kaladzic's always, he said this to me last couple times I've interviewed him. It's like a powder keg about to blow up. Yeah. That's what he keeps talking about, you know, it's like, it's ready to blow up. You guys are right there, man. Yeah. You're right there. You're ready to go on that run, that two, three, four All-American run, and and be a top ten team and be yeah. there. What's it gonna take to just to to get the snowball rolling? So I think the last time we talked, it was sort of the same thing. I mean, we're young and we're talented, so I don't. There, the expectation. I, we have high expectations. We just don't know. I mean, we put we're putting a we're putting these guys in a really, really hard schedule. And we're gonna see how re they react. Um, we're gonna see how they come out of it. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna toughen them up. Uh, and it's gonna prepare them for the EIWAs. It's gonna prepare them for nationals. So I, all I know is that they will be prepared. How they respond, it's up to them. They're talented. We have a great culture. Uh, John Schleifer is, is uh, uh, you know, the returning senior who you know has a chance to be the first four-time national qualifier in Princeton wrestling history. Really? Yeah. So uh, it's never been done before. I mean, it's you know it's a big deal, but you know for him, I think he wants to be a national champ. So I think you know his leadership has definitely you know been awesome for these young guys to just kind of see him and how he works and how he trains. Um, it's going to be good. So again, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do. I'm excited. It's going to be great. I, I have a bunch of young kids who want to be good and they want to uh, achieve high goals. So we're going to see. We're going to put them in, in some opportunities to where they can beat some really good guys. The move up for Kaladzic. Give me a little insight on that. You know, goes from 41 uh, I mean, I don't know if you saw him, but he was pretty freaking big. He's a horse. He is big. Um, so I think uh, it, it took a toll on him towards the end of the season. Uh, he was also pretty banged up towards the end of the season. You know, we didn't really, obviously we kept that between, you know, him and the staff, but, you know, he was hurting when he was at NCAAs, and I think he was a little, um, you know, disappointed with how he finished. I mean, he was a freshman All-American, which is great and amazing, but, you know, he has high goals. Uh, he wanted to be a national champ this year. Uh, so I think he is putting a lot more of his attention on being a better wrestler than being a better weight cutter. So I know I have full confidence me and the coaching staff have full confidence that he's going to be strong if not you know stronger than his competition 
moving up to 149. You know, the Collades, it's a very academic driven family. Dad's a doctor, you know, brother works in the city. Um, you know, education's first to those people. It's incredible, you know. When you have guys like that, you know, you're a Big Ten guy. Big Ten guys want to win national titles and if they get a degree along the way, that's cool, right? Yeah. When you have that total mentality shift and you see it, you know, from Indiana to everywhere you've been and wrestling in the Big Ten and coaching in the Big Ten, what is that like? Seeing when a kid is like so zoned in on their future that sometimes wrestling second, which might be a little foreign to you because you're a wrestling coach yeah. who's a Big Ten guy yep. and a national champ, but what's that like? What's that like so dealing with kids? I would say probably when I first got to Princeton, it was a little bit of a shock. And I also think that was um, sort of the changing of the culture also. Right now, we don't have that. We have guys who their focus is just mu just as much on wrestling as it is on, on, on their academics, which is really friggin' high. Um, so I would not say that our guys are just solely academically focused. Um, they want to be good. We have guys who want to be national champs. They're working their butts off, okay, to, to achieve those goals. And But they also want to be, they want to see how good they could be academically. I mean, they have just as high wrestling goals as they do life goals. You know, they want to go out and they want to achieve amazing things in the real world. And I think that was, some, it was a little hard for me, I guess, at first, because I was so just wrestling and, and you know, for me personally, I mean, graduating from college, that was a huge accomplishment for me. I mean, you know, that was something that I knew I could win a national title. I didn't know if I can graduate from college. So. That's crazy. All <laughs> you know? these guys know they're going to graduate, you know? but they don't, you know what I mean? It's almost like yeah. a flip. Yeah, so it was a little bit of a shock for me, but now that I see what our guys do, uh, like after graduation, and even like when they're in our program, I mean, we have guys who are studying abroad, uh, going to Bolivia and helping out, you know, these small, uh, you know, poor towns and being a nurse's aide and, and things like that, or a, a doctor's aide and, and just doing those kind of, of experiences. And then also, you know, having chances to work at a new startup company in New York City. So it, it's just, I, I love it because our guys are getting the full experience. It's not just about wrestling. Like, they don't just identify as a Princeton wrestler. They, they identify as a Princetonian. You know, they are, they are really trying to, you know, suck the marrow out of Princeton. It's like... They're taking full advantage of everything. Are, it, it's amazing. I, I, I am a very lucky guy to work with unbelievable student athletes who have high goals wrestling and academic. All right, man, there's some scrapping going on. You got anything else yes. for me? Uh, as always, uh, Princeton loves being here. Uh, I think this is something that's revolutionary. Uh, if kids don't come to this, it, I don't know what they're thinking because why wouldn't you give yourself an opportunity to get noticed by a coach that maybe you're not on their radar or, you know, there's a lot of wrestlers out there, so again, to come to this and to have this small group interaction and to have D1 college coaches or even D2, D3, whatever, uh, to watch you and to watch you train and to watch you wrestle, I think it's amazing uh, what Cliff is doing and in just providing this opportunity for kids. I really, I wish more kids would have taken uh, advantage of it. You know, I was, I was, you know, I was excited about it. I am excited. Uh, I just wish there was more kids here. Cliff's got something. I love it. All right, man. Get in there and watch some wrestling. Thanks Thank for the you. time.